Sagittarius, this is going to be a reading for November 4th through the 7th. Thank you so much for joining me. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what applies, leave the rest. You guys already know that. Um, and if at any point you want a personal, just check out the information listed in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. November 4th through the 7th. And this is an eight card spread. And let's go ahead and pull one from here. So first card we're going to address is the message from your spirit guides and it says vast vistas and it reads expand your horizons. So what I'm hearing is um, spirit wants you to look beyond what things may be perceived to be at the moment. Um, so sometimes we could do this thing where we have like this very limited perspective of well, my life's been going this way and based off of my past experiences, this is what I predict my future to look like. Like we can tend to do that, right? But um, in this circumstance, spirit is really trying to bring attention to the fact that you guys may be needing to look at either the bigger picture in regards to your situation and understanding that, yes, you may be in an in-between state to what's to come in the future, the great things that are about to come in the future. And also understanding that like a one-sided perspective only gets you a one-sided outcome, if, if you get what I'm trying to say. This is also like understanding that maybe thinking bigger will benefit you guys more. So where you guys have been playing it really small in regards to career opportunities or even people that you're dating, like you may just date people because of what they look like, but you may not be realizing that behind looks, there's other things that matter so it's like expanding your horizons and maybe trying a new approach the way you do things so you can get a different outcome now present situation i do have the three of swords so this is you sitting in the space of either previous disappointment this doesn't have to be like literally you being disappointed during this time frame um, but looking at disappointments that you've experienced and kind of like I don't know, like seeing how the scarring may have impacted you in regards to you going through those situations. I have the King of Wands clarifying that. So it's like, you're really not happy with how certain things turned out. And you wish you could go back in the past and fix things. But now you're realizing that the only thing that you could really do is be patient when it comes to like, I don't know, changing the narrative or things being different. I don't know how to put that into words. It's like some of you suffered disappointment and now all you can do is like be in this energy of being patient and working through your own personal traumas in order to put yourself back out there. And this is something you guys may be realizing that maybe you're not really ready to date or maybe you jumped into another relationship a little bit too soon and you didn't really give yourself enough time that's something i'm seeing anywho um when it comes to the recent past i have the magician card so you were trying to make something happen for yourself um you had all the tools everything you needed necessary to actually manifest said thing yeah it just may have been like confliction in regards to like the long term so a good example of this could have been you trying to bring a certain person back into your life right and you could have very well have done this um but then with the two of swords it's like it's still going to put you in a space of not knowing what the hell to do because this person may not be coming to you as a whole individual. Like there may be some things that this person really needs to work on personally before you guys can even be a thing. 
So you're in a tight space. You're in an in-between space. Same thing with career. It's like you had all the tools to manifest changing your career, but it's like, where do you start? Should you leave your job? Is there still an opportunity for you to make things work there? It was just a lot of questioning. And also your mental thought process may have not been consistently in the thought process of, okay, I'm going to leave or I'm going to go ahead and stay at this job. It's like it just kept going back and forth. Now, future, I do have the five of swords. So, again, it's kind of going back to the thought process thing. Um, some of you may be just talking yourself out of doing certain things. It's like you know you should, for instance, move to start an IT project or something like that. Or I don't know. I'm just giving you guys an example. You know that you should move, for instance, so that you could make more money in a different state. But then it's like listing off excuses for why you shouldn't do that. Or like some of you are married and your marriage is like really at a, at a bad point. And a lot of you are like making excuses for why you can't leave that situation, which could be valid excuses. But there are things that if you really put your head to or if you really took the time to do something about it, you could change that narrative. But some of you are more so like, I don't know, allowing yourself to kind of stay stagnant, I will be honest, with allowing your thought process to make you talk yourself out of things that you know you need to do. This could also be you and another person really like fighting and arguing like a little bit too much. So definitely, um, get that under control but advice here with the ten of wands um there's a need for you guys to deal with the baggage that's within your energy um so for a lot of you you're making like hurt decisions and when i say that like based off of what you've experienced in your past you could be making decisions that you don't necessarily want to make but you're making them because you've been hurting your past and it's like a protection mechanism um so this is making sure you're dealing with past trauma Okay, because for a lot of you, you're still trying to keep it together and move forward as if it's not affecting you when it is. This is also like recognizing when something becomes too much. Like, when does something become too much for you to be like, okay, I'm done? Like, do you have to be cheated on six times to, to leave? Like, how many times does somebody have to do certain things for you to be like, no, I'm done? How many times do you have to get your paycheck and feel like it's not enough for you to be like, okay, let me go ahead and, and do something about my job situation. It's like knowing when is your breaking point and not waiting until that ultimate breaking point to just decide to do something. That's the worst way to move. Now, what to avoid with the Hermit card. Um, this could be specifically a Virgo or... Um, oh, going back to any situation where you separated yourself to kind of get personal clarity, um, don't go back to that because it's saying you should really take the time to kind of do you right now and maybe not go back to some sort of connection as of right now. Now, the challenge that may come up with the Five of Pentacles, this could be like leaving something alone that you've left behind or someone who may have ghosted you. You may have a hard time like not responding if this person wants to reach out. So they ghosted you. But if they were to reach out, it's like some of you may actually engage with that person. And it may be a challenge for you to not engage with them, even though you know that this person doesn't have anything to offer. They're the type to ghost and not someone who you could really trust. But some of you can't help it because it's like you have questions or you wonder if things will be different this time. And yeah, and then for others of you, it's more so abandonment issues just in general. You may be needing to like, like I said, work through personal baggage. This could also be like spending. There could be a lot of money that may be shelled out during this time frame. Now, what I see for career, I have the Queen of Cups. 
So for a lot of you, you have personal desires to be a lot further in your career. Um, you're starting to realize, though, that maybe you need to take care of yourself and your emotional health because there may be days where you find yourself not really being able to give your best because of what's going on below the surface. So that's one thing. Also, some of you are starting to realize that maybe smoking or drinking or certain substances that you guys may take a lot may be keeping you from being on top of your stuff or even just a negative mindset. Okay, take that part um, as it resonates to you. And then last card, we have the Hierophant. So some of you are married. Your marriage does need some work, but you guys are definitely trying to keep it together. Um, some of you are dealing with somebody who's married, and that situation is very confusing. Okay, this person moves with the wind with the way that they interact with you. Um, my singles, I see you guys more so focusing on a personal journey of spirituality and also like realizing that there's certain boundaries or certain things that you will not allow anymore so that's good and some of you are more so just in a relationship with your person and like hoping that maybe one day you and your person could be on the same page yeah it's a lot of anxiety surrounding like family and a marriage interesting but this is what i see i hope i put things in perspective if you did take something from this video definitely feel free to thumbs it up and i will see you in the next one